What is going on guys? We are going to be doing a oil change on the S1000 single R. Uh, should be the same as the double R. Let me get everything out. So, I'm also going to be cleaning the chain as well. But this video is just going to be the oil change. So, got all my stuff from Amazon. That was not supposed to fall. The Pretty much the OEM oil filter. Uh, OC619, this little kit. I'll put a link for all this from the Amazon or just in general from where you can get it because the Amazon one, Jesus, only had a couple left. Um, so I'm not sure if they will have more in the future. But either way, uh, oil, it's all preference. I got, I think, the Motul 7100, um, 5W40. Probably could have gone 10W40 because it is a bit higher mileage, but we just got four liters or quarts of, uh, was it? Yeah, 5W40 for the 7100. That's what this recommends for OEM. Like I said, it does have a bit higher mileage, so it could go up to the uh, 10W40. So, pretty simple to do. This is going to be my first time doing oil change on it because I put maybe two or 3,000 miles on the bike, but it is at, I think, like 25,000 right now. Maybe 22, 23. I'm not sure. But it's going to be a T50 socket. I might need to move this back, but uh, it's a T50 socket. Probably move this back because of the sun, but uh, as you can see, your filter is right there. Um, you may be able to do it without having to take this off. If not, it's just these little Torx bits to take it off. Um, yeah, it's going to be hard to kind of get in through there. It is warm. You want to make sure the bike is warm when you're taking it off. And you should have a, uh, there's a wrench that you can get for it. I'm going to just try and use my hand. Um, and I'll put some heat gloves on. That way I'm not burning myself on the header. But other than that, it is a T50 bolt right here. See that will focus. Okay, so T50. As you can see, yeah, T50. So first things first, I'm gonna see if I can get the oil filter off. Um, you should, because usually when I do the Grom, because the exhaust is right above it. Um, if you don't care about it getting on the exhaust, then just proceed as normal. If you do, you can put some foil over it. That way it kind of drains down into the middle of that. Um, but either way, it's all preference on there. So let me push this back since the sun is coming up. And uh, we'll get started. Alright, so. Um, pretty much put it brand new. So you can see all the old oil in there. May have been a bit overfilled, I'm not sure. Um, new washer on, so. Go ahead, tighten that up. Make sure you clean the mating surface. Um, and then you should be technically doing the, uh, I believe it's 18 newton meters for the uh, torque setting for that. I will look it up. Uh, put that on there so it doesn't go flying. Um, but that is for you to do. I usually just kind of not grip it too much. And then, once it gives some tension, about that much. And call it a day. Wipe off any of the excess oil. Make sure it doesn't leak. And you should be good. Off this little bit from the pan. Little viewing glass and everything. Make sure it's all good to go up here. I should probably clean that a bit better, but you can at least see it. So, as you can tell, we go just tighten it up real quick. So I don't believe I'll be able to get it. I can kind of reach under for the filter, under this way. The header is cold now, but the engine is still warm, so I can maybe almost get it. But I do have one of these, which I'm gonna see if I can get to work. Maybe not one-handed. It will be easier just to take the fairing off though. Alrighty, so I did just move this side back. Um, I took off this bolt. I should have just taken off the other bolt because the whole thing's loose already, but no biggie. 
uh, let it sit up against that. It'll be just fine. I put some foil down to see if I can avoid it going all over the headers, but we'll see. Given the way the uh, pan is set up, it may not work. It may just go everywhere, but um, all I used was one of these. You can make it easier on yourself and use the uh, official tool. So, take that down and see if that's going to work. Nope, it will not because this side, it, let me see if maybe I can bend that up. Nope, that's going to get over it anyway, so. Um, yeah, so that's just leaking all over there anyway, so maybe I can just guide it down the middle though. Nope, that doesn't work. It's just going to fall no matter what. So, just allow it to do its thing and wipe it off. It's going to smell like oil for a bit, but it is what it is. At least you can get it off the main portion of the pipes. Um, Alright, so pretty much just clean the mating surface of the oil filter. I got the new one right here. And so... Um, I see it's brand new, it's not resourced anything, just make sure it's all good to go. I'm going to put some oil on this and then redo all the process, wipe it all down, and you're pretty much good to go. Um, no special tools besides the T50. It does help having this, I don't know what size it is. Um, I just came in this little multi-tool kit. I don't think it says the size on it or anything. Oh, no, uh, T25. So T25, uh to get that little bolt off and then just some good old uh some strength and you'll be good to go like i said just clean that mating surface off i'll put oil on the new filter and we'll reverse the process